What up guys? Had a couple people ask me about how to make, how to do the math to get these radiuses. So I'm going to show you guys a simple process to figure it out. Okay, so you want to think of these as a rectangle. You divide it down the middle and you just have an S. So what it is is two reverse curves. And you need to know the peak to bottom number. And then you need to know the width from the center to the end, the two termination points. So basically your height and your width, divide your width in half. That gives you your rectangle that you're going to use to do this math. Okay, so you start out drawing a rectangle. This is half of the overall width. So it'll be a bell like this. One half of that width and the height, that's your rectangle. Then you connect the diagonals. These are your termination points. So this is where our first radius will terminate. This is where our second radius will terminate. Okay, so draw our diagonals. Like so. Next thing we need to do is divide this diagonal into thirds. So we start by, or sorry, into fourths. Um, so the first thing we do is divide it in half. We can do that with a compass. By starting in the corner, and swinging the same radius, both sides. So the intersection of this and the intersection of that will create a perpendicular line through there. Okay, so now we have a rectangle, the one half the width, full height, the diagonal. We used two radiuses to create a perpendicular line all the way through. And now we do the same thing to divide this area in half. Two perpendicular or two radiuses to locate the center, two radiuses locate the center and it doesn't matter what the radius is as long as it's the same on both sides just gonna leave myself a clue there which intersection that was it's kind of crowded We just connect these points. Obviously, you could do this with math as well. You could just divide this up. I just want you guys to see how to develop this geometrically. These tricks can help you find center lines and reference lines and perpendicular lines when you're laying out other stuff by just swinging two radiuses. Okay, so it's these lines that actually do all of the work here. Now we're going to project this up and project this down to locate the intersection. Okay, so all of this was just an effort to get this point here, this point here, that's going to be our radius. So we'll set our compass off that point. how it crosses at the center line and then we just take this over to the other intersection set our compass here should be the same radius really
uh, you can see the profile of the belt. You would just have to repeat that process over here to get the other half of it. Um, but that's how it works. And this is specifically how it works with equal circle radius, equal radiuses. If you change the radius, you have to go through a different process. So for example, if you want a larger radius here than you have here, different process. This only works when the radiuses are the same. So, I mean, even though I adjusted a little bit, that was just because this is drawn kind of loosely. If it was drawn very precise, these would hit the same every time. There it is.